Hey guys, not been doing this uh, YouTube thing very well recently. I've not done a lot of filming because I've been trying to get things done. Uh, it's also the least enjoyable bit for me. Uh, I've had to start all the prepping work. I've kind of rushed it on the roof and I shouldn't have. As you can see behind me, we've got white walls. A bit hard to see now, but this Dulux weather shield. As you can see, I've, done, I've been doing some filling too. I've done the edges. I haven't filled the screws in on the walls because one, it tells me where the ribs are behind and two, if I ever need to, I can take the walls off so that I can maybe need to take the ceiling down so I've not done the holes in the ceiling either. So that if I'm gonna put solar panels up or anything else, some extra stuff I need to get to the bolts, then I can get to the... So I'm filling all the cupboards. All the scratches, all the screws, the gaps. All right. <laughs> Not chewing that. Morning, guys. I've put an extra solar panel on the roof, and I need to find out a way of putting it on. Now initially, I bought these, but the, there's not enough roof space. These take up quite a lot of floor space beyond the actual solar panel itself. And there's not enough room with that solar panel in the position that it's in. So I'm actually going to use some of this Unistrut that's already up there and bolted in. But the problem is, the roof's now up, so I can't get to the bolt. And this Unistrut seems to have got every like accessory going for it, and I've actually managed to find some like internal like sliding, extendable sort of stuff, material, so you can put them up to each other and screw it in. So I'm going to cut some four pieces, hopefully I've got enough here for the roof. I've got four of these, which are four quid each. And I've had to buy a load of new brackets as well. So I've measured it and it's coming up at about 30, but I'm going to cut it at 35 to begin with and then have a test fit. Cut slots up there like that and then I've just chopped it off with an angle grinder and bent the bit over. I'm just using what bolts I've got and if you ever need to cut a bolt to size get the nut on first. I'm kind of getting it roughly around the size of what I need but if you get the nut on first before you cut then it's a lot easier to get the nut back on afterwards because as it as you unthread it, it like cuts itself a new thread and then it's easy to put back on again. If you don't put the knot on and you just cut this, it's always hard to get the knot on unless you chamfer. Wet ladders are on back at van.
go, wire poking through roof, sealed on top. Just about long enough I reckon. Now I'm going to have to cut down this wire and solder them together, put it back together. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.